Hey Aries, this is going to be an ex reading to see if it's likely that your ex will come back, okay? We're going to check out what's going on for you guys, all right? Aries, for December 6th through the 12th, Aries and their ex. Aries and their ex. What's going on for Aries and their ex? One more shuffle, guys. Aries and their ex. Hmm. This is you. This is your ex. Hmm. What you want, what they want what you need, what they need. Okay. Is someone else blocking you? or involved, and it's union likely. All right, so let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see. Okay, Aries. So, you know, with the Two of Wands being present, as far as where you are right now, <clears throat> um, you're, at a, you're at a crossroads. Um, in deciding which way you want to maneuver, which way you want to go, you know, what it is that you want to do. Because I feel like, you know, at this point, you, you know, you, you were stuck for a minute. And Aries, they do not like to be stuck. They like to shake and move. And I feel like at this point, you know, something, something had you very off kilter like threw you off a bit in the past, okay? And kind of shook you up until you felt like, you know, you weren't yourself necessarily, okay? So where this other person is, and could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like they have realized something about this connection. They've realized something about you. They know the truth of what you mean to them. They know who you are. You probably have told them, you know, we were meant to be or something like that. And in the past, they probably were like, you know what, you crazy. I don't believe in that. But I feel like now they do. There's something, there's something significant that this person has come to realize about you guys, the, you know, the, the relationship that you guys had or have, okay? Now, <clears throat> what you want is to know which way to go. Sometimes, with the high priestess being here, you want to know for sure which way you need to go. But the high priestess prompts you to use your intuition to do what you feel in your heart that's right. So there may not be anything written in stone that you should do. You have to feel it. You have to feel it deep in your core, you know, that this is right for you and go with it. So that's where you are. And I feel like you're having a problem, you know, kind of leaving something behind and going for something else. Okay. What this person wants is to move forward with you. I feel like they're like Gemini Cancer kind of energy. Um, the seventh house is... And Cancer is, I mean, the chariot is um, Roman numeral seven. And this is a house of partnership. And I feel like this person wants to move forward with you. They want to move in a positive direction, take this relationship to another level. Quite possibly here is what they want, okay? And what you need is to be enlightened, to get your happy back. Don't be indecisive. You know, because when you get, when you, when you start 
thinking of something way too hard. You know that saying, you know, you think long, you think wrong. Not saying that you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't weigh the pros and cons of, of a situation, but, you know, don't stay stuck. You know, it's to move forward, to, to, you know, follow your heart, do what feels good and right for you. Okay. And what this person needs is to get their confidence back, to get their confidence up, to walk towards you, to come towards you. They need to give a little more. They need to be comfortable in who they are. They need to be forgiving. I feel like this person holds on to things. Um, and they, they have a hard time letting go of past hurts any any anything they feel like you know hurt them they have a hard time let, i don't care if it's 20 years ago it's, it, i feel like they have a hard time letting go of things and that is what they need to do because um they're not going to be able to move forward although they want to because they love you they love you i feel like this person really loves you okay now if somebody else is involved are, is somebody else involved? I don't think so here with the Eight of Cups. I feel like you've turned your back on love relationships at this point. I think that this connection really kind of hurt you. And like the breakup really hurt you. And I don't feel like you're open. Not I'm not going to say open because that's the wrong word. I don't think you're looking for it. I think you I think you've got your back turned. I think you're trying to heal. I think you're trying to do something else to kind of take your mind off of what went on here between um you and your ex. Okay? Do they have somebody else involved? It's possible. But I feel like their focus is mainly on you with these nine of swords. I feel like this card is um regrets in the relationship. I feel like this card is um, signifying how they they feel as though you know this is never going to be right like it's never going to be fixed you guys are never going to come back together and I feel like that's what this nine of swords is here for this is also Gemini energy um, I think that you know each one of these swords represents a different thing that they are imagining because remember the nine of swords it's imaginatory it's, it's not real you know nine times out of ten either what you you are thinking is either over exaggerated or it's not true you know something like that okay let's see if this union is likely guys we have the six of wands I feel like this union is definitely likely because I feel like both of you want it deep down inside. I think you're running away from it because something here hurts you badly. We have Leo energy here as well. Um, something hurts you badly and I feel like you're trying to not think about it. And the other person's doing the opposite because maybe before the roles were reversed, you were thinking so much about it and the other person was trying not to. So you guys haven't been on the same accord. Okay. So is this union likely? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, but I feel like, I feel like there's, there has to be a lot that happens here. I'm going to pull some cards for advice here. What is advice for Aries in their ex? What is advice? Two cards, please. The Six of Swords just jumped out. All right. And the Five of Wands, guys. Now, this is also Leo. This is like, um, this is Aquarius, but it just, it gives me a different feel. I don't know why, but this is, this is letting go. Letting go of past hurts and transgressions. Um, this is moving forward. Like leaving behind all of that baggage. Leaving behind all of that baggage and kind of talking things out. 
because there's lots of conflict between the two of you. There's lots of baggage between the two of you, and there is a need to talk things out. Somebody has to make the first move, though. You know, and I feel like it's going to be the, your ex that makes the first move because they're the ones that, you know, they they weren't privy to how important this relationship um, was at some point. So I feel like they're going to be the ones to reach out if anybody. I don't see you reaching out, Aries, okay? So that is um, your ex reading for December 6th through the 12th, and I'll be speaking with you soon.